Whedon. And it's intercepted by Cleary. Marker down, Cleary on the return. Joey Cleary will check the penalty, but comes up with the smash mouth hit. And now stride for stride, comes up with the pick. Big hit by Cleary. Big pick by Cleary. Central gets the football back. Boyer Carlson, who's a junior, on second down. Lashinsky still in there. Pump, pump, fire. Wow. Touchdown, Bonda! That'll make up for the drop in a big way. Big catch over the middle. And then this one in the end zone. Brookfield Central strikes first. Lashinsky's really hurting, but what a gutsy play. Yeah, he rolls left. And then almost sidearms the ball to Bonda. And the honorable mention All-Stater the last two years redeems himself with a nice catch in the end zone. Brookfield Central has the early lead. Bonda missed three weeks of the season, had a, an ankle injury of his own, but he still caught over 50 balls. And as Bill mentioned, that's his seventh touchdown. Charlie Bloom belts through the PAT and the Lancers on the board first in their return trip to Camp Randall as Lashinsky hobbles off. Chad Kennedy checking in with his All-State quarterback. You talk about the ultimate redemption, the drop when you're wide open, but then you make the difficult catch over the middle, and then this one, sidearm from your QB, right there, number seven. Brookfield Central goes 88 yards in six plays. It took him a minute and 55. Boyer Carlson split at the bottom of your screen. Lashinsky lost the football. It's intercepted. And taking it in for the touchdown, maybe. Yes, touchdown, Matt Thompson. Oh, he's ruling him down. He's ruling him down at the one. One official gave the signal, and then another one came in and said down at the one. But Matt Thompson, defensive lineman senior, plays the carom on the loose ball right into his belly. And give Lashinsky credit for hustling all the way with a bad leg to track down the big Thompson, who I think I could beat in a race. But he, he gets down, and I think he's in. 37-yard return, and the ball just flipped out. And again, it's the cold. And, you know, before the series started, Lashinsky was trying to warm up his hand by the, the heater on the sideline and the ball, and it just kind of popped out of his hand. What a big play by Thompson, and they do rule him down on the one, so they'll have to run a They're play. They're short players. They don't have enough players. Doesn't matter. Nope. <laughs> Touchdown, Highlanders. That's crazy. They were short one man. They only had 10 on offense, but they were all on the line of scrimmage. Now it's a touchdown. Delayed reaction, but clearly he was in for the score. 9-7, Homestead. Nearly the pick six. Should have been a pick six. Okay, but the, the big fella. Okay, they are going to kick. Seven. They're going to kick the extra point. Again, Gomez has been automatic all year. He's missed only two and 50-some tries. I oh, thought there was movement. They didn't call it, though. Oh, he ran into the kicker. Kick is good. They're kind of limited to those two things, I think. Here it comes. Lampkin There's to Bonda. Bonda fighting through the traffic. Bonda's in. Touchdown. Why well, I was in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> <laughs> he smelled it, didn't he? And, bon and Bonda smelled the end zone. Had to weave through a lot of Highlanders to get there. But he gets there. And the Lancer's back in front. Yep. If you can hold it just a second while I draw here. So he's going to come and hit back over here. We're going to go with look eye candy that way. He's going to get it coming around. And we should have two pullers. Someone's going to kick. He's probably the first guy to kick out and the second guy will wrap. Oh, triple pullers. <laughs> All the moving parts. 
And then Bonda just muscled his way to get into the end zone. Whedon with the push in to the end zone. Touchdown, Homestead. Just another great back and forth heavyweight match. It's a quarterback sneak here. Wheaton has his second one yard run for a touchdown today. They go 77 yards in nine plays. They say to Brookfield Central, take that. Again, keep in mind, Wheaton is the holder. I'm pretty sure they're gonna kick this one though. A little high snap almost cost them there. Brookfield Central came really close. Gomez nails it. Homestead regains the lead here in the second quarter. Back and forth we go on the scoreboard here at Camp Randall Stadium. 17-14 Homestead leads it at the moment. Little counter to Schneider. Schneider busts through. Schneider will take it to the house. Touchdown Homestead. <laughs> little trap play. 37 yard run by Schneider. We told you he's been their touchdown guy, and he showed it there with a nice cutback. And Homestead has a nine point lead. A little seam turned into a big opening. Yeah, for Schneider. Great trap block here. Gomez to tack on one more. So the field position paid off after the defense got the stop. Homestead offense puts it in. And the lead is 24-14 Highlanders. Yeah, could you hold the end zone for a second then? Here's how they score. They come here because of the big trap block right there. And the cutback. Dinder going the last 37 to complete a 50-yard scoring drive. It only took 48 seconds and three plays. Obviously, Homestead will take it. They've expanded their lead late here in the first half. Lushinsky, 8 of 13 for 128 yards and a touchdown. One interception. Reverse. Ponda loads up, oh. man open, no. it's Connor Cole, foot race, oh no. ball popped out, it's loose, and Homestead recovers at the three, are you kidding me? Oh wow, what a great call, and then to have everything, he, he just underthrew it a little bit, allowing the, the defensive effort, but what a great defensive play to pop the ball out. Bonda had thrown two passes this year. He got that one out there, and then Culp's thinking touchdown. A lot of green space between him and the goal, and a great defensive play knocks the ball free. Second turnover of the half, and this one's a critical one. So it goes Lashinsky, Lampkin, Kolb, or Bonda, who loads up. There's Kolb all by himself. He's thinking, I'm going to score, but 35, Garrett Wilson, catches him dislodges the football and the highlanders avoid a huge breakdown the play was fantastic the pass was perfect but the defensive play made by wilson is the key to all of this and he never gave up wilson moves as you can see 6'3 200 pounds but he just flew to the football and made an awfully big defensive play Schneider on the toss. He'll get there. He'll walk in. Touchdown, Homestead. <laughs> He's a really good running back, too. Second touchdown today. He's now gone over 100 yards on the afternoon, and he was a key guy in that drive. So at the 33-yard line, Brookfield Central. Ashinsky going long. 
And it's intercepted by Braun. Connor Braun step inside the pass, picked it off, and a nice return back to the 33-yard line. Homestead turns over the Lancers again. Perfect coverage. Perfect coverage on Banda. Watch this. Perfectly in phase. He can look back at the ball. Nice play by Braun. Ball was underthrown, but nonetheless, he outdueled Banda for the 50 50 ball. Whedon, quick strike. Oh, and the toss to Schneider, who gathers it in. Schneider stays in. Touchdown. Oh. Little hook and ladder. Woody Hayes have that in his playbook? Yeah. <laughs> no, Don Shula did. <laughs> yeah. That was, uh, well, they shifted out of the, they, they weren't in the T that time, but what a gutsy call there. On fourth down. Everything going right for the Highlanders. Great call by Drake Zortman. Why not? What a day by Schneider. 29 yards on the hook and ladder. <laughs> Gomez makes it 38 to 14. Our rural mutual play of the game. Yeah, why not? Doesn't get any better than this. Koenig goes up, tosses it before he gets hit. Schneider reels it in. <coughs> heads to the pylon and in for his third touchdown of the afternoon. Yeah, he basically had two guys on him. Just got rid of it in time. Those are ones you practice and practice. You do them like 10 times. They, they, work they don't like always never. work, yeah. Yeah, they might work when you practice against the freshmen or... <laughs> Popped, balls out, Homestead has it. Jake Raditz leveled Lashinsky. And Highlanders have the football at the 10. Boy, Raditz has been everything is advertised. He has really had a nice afternoon. Again, on the, the place where his dad, Craig, played here. Paul Chris was his teammate back in the day, and he's got to be a proud dad tonight. As Jake Raditz has been a dominant player defensively. This is the fourth turnover for Brookfield Central. Drew never... Second and goal. Garrison. Touchdown! And the route is on. Homestead. Turnover. Two plays later. Back into the end zone. They lead by 30. I don't think a lot of people saw this one coming. No, well, I, it doesn't surprise me how good Homestead is. I, you know, I just didn't expect it to be this big of a well, that's, I guess, what I mean. variation, yeah. Gomez, one more time. <laughs> 45 to 14. One more look at the latest score. This is Garrison's touchdown run. His first of the day, but it was set up by Raditz's forced fumble. Raditz has now got four and a half tackles for a loss today for 28 yards. He had six sacks last week against Marshall. Quick hitter to Garrison. He's in. Touchdown. Second one for number 20. 51 to 14, Homestead. Those folks are having a good time. I don't think they even expected anything like running time. <clears throat> Five plays or six plays to go 55 yards. Jordan Gomez is going to need some icy hot on his leg. <laughs> Getting a workout. 
And this one blocked. This will be the last play of the Division II final. And we talked about high praise. How about high praise for the Highlanders? They are state champs with an emphatic victory. Impressive on the scoreboard and on the field. They beat Brookfield Central 51 to 14. Yep, state championship number six. Been here seven times, won it six times. When they get here, they mean business. They know how to seal the deal. Out with guys, the defensive star, Raditz, just dominant record-setting performance in a number of sacks. Tackles weren't record-setting, but he was their leading tackler. Had a bunch of tackles for a loss. And the running game, very impressive for the Highlanders. They run.